Welcome back. Our next story takes us to a community between the federal capital territory Abuja and Karu local government area of Natarawa State, where residents are asking the government to pay attention to the road that lies between them. It takes roughly 40 minutes by road from Abuja to Maraba in Karu local government area of Natarawa State and about 2 hours 40 minutes from Lafia, the Nasara state capital. As of 2006, less than 2 million people lived here, most of whom are civil servants from the FCT. One major feature around this access is the Abuja Kefi Road. On the Abuja Kefi Road sits the pillar indicating a demarcation between Nigeria's capital Abuja and Mararaba community in Karu, local government area of Nasarawa State. After it lies this road tagged the Boundary Road. The road stretches between the federal capital territory Abuja and Nasarawa State with a demarcation distance of less than one kilometer. The state of the road is worsened by erosion, which has now made it unmotorable, and not even the motorcyclists find it easy. For those who resort to walking, it's a daunting task. The view of the Asso Rock, where the presidential villa is sited, is no sucker for them. They desire more. Hoodlums for several years have taken advantage of the deplorable state and often scamper before security operatives make their way here. We have been suffering on this road, both robbing, both snatcher of uh, bags and uh, phone handset because this road is too bad we cannot vehicle cannot move on it so the arm robbery incident always occur every three three weeks and when you call to the police police vehicle cannot come to this road and take care of uh, us here then we tell us that we try their best but before then the arm robber has gone before they will get to this place. And this road was so bad. He always carries uh, people when there is rain. So we are pleading to the government to come and help us for the road so that they can help us create it. The community on their own have attempted self-help on several occasions, but it has often proved unsuccessful. The onslaughts from this gully erosion, which signals a cutoff has left them in despair. They re echo their pleas to the authorities. The drainage system you see right and left were done by the community. You know, so since 2004, it has been like this. We have been battling with the road. And uh, we have made frantic efforts to meet the government. We are actually appealing to the federal government, be it federal, because this is boundary road, be it to Nasrawa they should come to our rescue before further damage is done on this road. You see where we are standing now? You see this gully? This place, this place we are standing here is just like this place. We have to engage the service of uh, uh, this uh, 140 per load of uh, sand to rescue, to sand free this place. After that, we have to continue. We didn't stop at that because if not for this thing you see us do here, you see this thing. If not for this thing you see in this place, it would have this road would have cut into two. We have no other option than to tax ourselves. We have spent so much money on this road to make sure at least we live like human beings. One effect of the road that has shocked them is the death of a one-year-old girl. Mary Peter lost her life on October 2nd. When an inferno engulfed this apartment, 
Firefighters were delayed by the bad state of the road. Her mother still grieves. Her father too is traumatized. As he searches through what once were his belongings, but now they breathe to be trashed, he seeks for help. I feel bad. I went to work. They call me that my house is born. Before I come, my house has born with my, sh my children. So I went to hospital, my baby dead. They want me to go make up do this our roof for us because this our roof is very bad. Uh, they call fire service people to come out of the light. They cannot enter the road because the road is very bad. Local authorities say the road is listed among soon to be constructed roads, but they want the federal government support. Constructing road in those kind of areas with heavy traffic, it has to be roads that can stand the test of time because of the huge traffic flow on those axes. Otherwise, it will amount to waste of resources. It will amount to waste of resources when you go and just grade a road and then do uh, surface dressing. And after one year, you're, you've gone back to square zero. But uh, I'm happy to also inform you that His Excellency, uh, in the last six months, has asked that we give strategic areas of intervention in the local government roads. That road is part of it. I'm out of the opinion that that local government is beyond what everybody, every Nigerian will say, oh, Nasarawa state government. Most times, I have visited a lot of federal government MDAs. I have gone to FCT, I have gone to SGF, a lot of them. I have made my position very clear. It is basically that the local government houses Nigerians. And it only makes a lot of sense if we see the federal government also complementing the efforts of the Nasarawa state government and the local government. This is because whatever intervention you do there is as though you are doing it to the country because majority of the citizens that reside in our local government are really not from Nasarawa states. The death of Barry was avoidable if only the road had been fixed. Therefore, to avoid a recurrence of such sad event, wastage of travel and emergency response time, the necessary action must be taken. We'll keep tabs on development here. Tell us what's happening around you. Share with us that experience here on Eyewitness Report by uploading your photos or videos to the Eyewitness Portal available on the Channels TV app. You can download the app from various stores online. Ensure you add your location and phone number while uploading your content so that we can get in touch with you to follow up on your report. Now let's see what you've uploaded for the week. This video shows petroleum products believed to be PMS, also known as petrol, gushing out from a falling tanker on Festa Clink Bridge in the Amuwa Odofi area of Lagos State. Our eyewitness reporter says security operatives were at the scene to disperse residents who defied possible explosion to scoop the content of the overturned tanker. The next video is that of a man who has committed himself to a community service of ensuring free flow of traffic in the Barua area of Lagos. Our eyewitness says he has been doing this for the past four years. He hopes people emulate him and do the most they can to contribute to their immediate community. This next video shows what motorists and residents of Greenfield Estate have to contend with every day. Our eyewitness says trucks and containers have completely taken over both sides of the road, causing traffic gridlock on a daily basis. She is pleading with the government to help them regain some sanity in Agor Palace Way. Next is a picture that shows some shanties raised by fire in Okobaba, Ibutemeta area of Lagos State. Eyewitnesses report the inferno, which started about 7 p.m., was caused by an electrical spark in one of the shanties on Kano Street. The picture also captures residents trying to pick valuable items from the debris. The incident left several residents homeless. 
And this picture is that of a street sweeper dumping waste on the road leading to Alagba roundabout in Agege, Lagos State. Our eyewitness reporter says she has been apprehended by the Loma Environmental Enforcement Team. The picture is followed by another showing Loma Environmental Enforcement and Monitoring Team at a market in Lagos, sensitizing traders about environmental sanitation to avoid health hazards. Those are your shorts. Do keep them coming. See you again same time next week. I am your me, Otaibi.